Welcome everyone to the next kit build. Um, this is 2019's final kit for the year, and um, it's a nice big one, and it's pretty convenient for this time because of Star Wars coming out. And as I'm sure most of you had seen, um, I have posted previous photographs of the actual uh, uh, parts that I've been printing out for this model. So for those who have not seen, well, I presume by watching this video, you, you already know what you're going to be looking at. But um, that's the model I'm I'm busy with now. Um, well, I'm going to start tomorrow the uh, the prototype of the kit. Um, this is a white version. I'm going for the black version. Uh, I think the black looks nicer. White is very common from episode um, three, four, and five, um, and obviously the new series, the new. Uh, three parts also have the white X-wing. Uh, I like the black. I think it looks. I think it looks different. I like the look of it. Um, my opinion: this is out of all the ships that came out in, this, in the new, in the new trilogy. Um, this looks the nicest. It's the nicest build. The nicest kit. Um, there are quite a few kits out there already, but not the size I'm going for, which is one in seventeen. So you can fit any character in there. Um, and there are quite a few 1 in 18 characters you can fit in there. But the one that I found fits the best is a Legacy Luke. I'll show you photographs of that in a, in a while. Um, what I want to go over is just the CG model. Um, well, what I'll first go over is um, a couple of screenshots and then the CG model. And I'll try and explain what how, the, how it goes together. And then when I come to showing the parts in the next video, I'll actually show the different sections, the different parts, um, and the issues I had with them, and issues I might fix or might not fix. It all depends on how the build goes. Okay, so... Whoops, I deleted the long, wrong file over there. Uh, so let me just go back over here and open my screenshots. Not that one. Um, this could it be? And the Star Wars. <coughs> the Star Wars models. And let's see. Um, how's the X-wing? And the screen grabs. Okay. So, Force Awakens. So I use a lot of screen grabs for the um, for the for the building of the kit. Um, and I actually overlaid a lot of them onto the three D environment to build over them. So they're pretty accurate, as accurate as what I could I could find. Um, all these pictures will be in the box folder that I'll share to all clients. Um, so this was pretty nice photograph or screen grab of the rear section. Um, the idea over here is to use uh, wires to do these, to put in over here physically, um, because to print that is way, way too, too thin. You'll be getting two versions of this rear section, one with a missing round piece you can do your own conversion to add a, uh, a booster onto it. I'm not doing the booster, but the option is there to do it. Yeah, that's uh, the rear engine section. I did a lot of screen grabs. Um, this is more for panel lining. Okay, this gun I did not do. Um, uh, impossible, this is to me an impossible ship. Because there's actually, other than, than your front landing gear, the rear landing gear, in my opinion, has nowhere to go. It cannot fit into that thin wing. So I went straight with a, uh, a flying version. There's no landing gear on this kit. Okay. Um, there's a white version. So that's the version I'm going for. Okay. Uh, black and orange. Um, although this is not completely black. Um, it's more of a dark grey kind of blackish colour. Uh, I'll do a mix to see what I come up with. 
and in different lighting it looks different so there it looks light there it looks darker okay so I'm just gonna fly through these I use these for the um, the rear of the cockpits it was not easy knowing what's going on behind here is not easy um, I did a lot of guesswork but the whole, whole idea of this cockpit is to is to use fiber optics except your main panel which will be a LCD screen so there's no decal set for this model either because there's actually no decals on it the only area where there is um where i could see any stickers or decals or markings was on the rear over here okay these little triangles and i'm not going to make a whole decal set for four triangles that i have no idea what it actually shows so in my opinion on a black model you won't see it on a white you can paint a little triangle in there but i have no idea what that says if anyone knows please let me know okay so there's more of the rear um which i tried to match up I've, I've, I've done these this is actually the mechanism for your for your canopy canopy is loose does not flip open but um i have put these in for accuracy sake okay so play screaming <laughs> Okay, and the dashboard is also very, um, here's another one, very minimal information. I did have a little bit um, from the uh, last Jedi. Like I said, there is over here in, in, in Force Awakens. Um, you cannot see much. I've got some more screen grabs, same ones. Okay, so, last Jedi. Okay, so this image I actually used as an overlay for this uh, rear section. It's pretty lined up, which is quite nice. Okay, I did not do the booster. Lighting kit will be available. Um, I'm working on one with brick stuff. Okay, so here's more clearer pictures of the um, of the rear section. So you can see there's lighting. There's these two lights. Um, this section has lighting in it. Uh, you see in a couple of photos from now. Okay, here's um, is the picture I use as an overlay. I use this photo as an overlay or the screen grab for the top section. Okay, here's another one you'll see on the um, control stick. There's also a light so the idea is to put a lcd or a little led into the section to light it up um so i'll be working on doing that okay so that's the look i'm going for okay it's a very nice looking fighter okay rear section also was not very easy um a lot of research photographs of other models as well combining the two uh they're possible again these landing gears coming out of the out of nowhere <laughs> okay so there you can see the color again um it's not black it's i wouldn't actually know what you'd call it and the canopy being like a silverish gray color so i might mix undercoat with silver to to get this uh this color right even the orange i'm not sure I'm, I'm, i have two different variations it might be the same as bb8's color and that's just before his x-wing goes kaboom okay so then i, I use this and i started on the um on the cg model so i'll just go through this quick it's very detailed as you can see i mean I added on as I went along. I actually added on as I as I did research to try and get it as accurate as possible. And I actually printed out parts and then glued them together. Um, like this front section. Printed them separately, glued them together. Okay, here's a mechanism which was a pain in the butt. Um, I think I might have got it right. 
So we'll see it. Consider this a two project model because you've got your main fuselage and then your engines, um, because they're actually, they're actually separate parts. So that's what I came up with the rear section, the detail. And that slides in, it's a separate part. And that as well, since it's a different color, else I would have, I would have left it in the, on the actual port, main port. That's your wiring. And that's a kit virtually complete. Rear section, lower side, top. Okay. And then I started in the cockpit once I had this done. Um, also minimal photographs online for this section. So I use a Bandai kit as a reference um, as well as some other photographs I found. But what I eventually did was I split this piece off and reprinted this and make it, it's actually a three section cockpit. So your main console, front, and then your rear section. Else it does not fit in because the screw goes underneath. So that's all I was working on it. So let me just skip to the end. Okay, so as you can see, there's a gap below, so you can add your your, your, your LED in. Okay, this is the rear section of the cockpit. Um, it's a guess of how it looks, because there's no reference. If anyone has a reference, please send it to me, but I doubt I'm going to go in and change this. I've now made this, this it was a separate print, and it's now part of the actual casting. This section is, is uh, one, two, three, five sections. Um, I will show the print, printed parts in the, uh, in the next uh, folder. Okay, so you got a couple of lights coming in here. This is hollow to add fiber optics if you want. Okay, so this cockpit has no dials whatsoever, which makes it easy, easy for me. Okay, and easy for you. So you just need to drill holes to add fiber optics. There's a BB-8, um, pretty accurate, and um, the print came out very well. Okay, there he's setting in his spot. Okay, here's a, this is from the from the game, um, a Star Wars fighting game. So this is another reference that I used. It's pretty accurate to, I think, I hope. <laughs> okay, um, so let me show you the prints. Now, this is off the print bead. Okay, different sections of the wings. Um, this is the cockpit. So the print came out very well, as you can see, it's very detailed. Um, the section is very thin, so you can cut this out to add your LCD at the back. This is the BB-8. Also pretty accurate. And that's that uh, Legacy Luke. Um, he fits the best. I actually had the... the, the, the the um, Force Link Luke uh, Poe character, and he's the same scale, but he's bigger. So he did not work very well. And this is actually a better fit because Poe's helmet fits on, on the Luke character. Uh, you do not need to see the face. So, and his legs are adjustable very easily. You can turn his arms where the, the other one is, is very static. So I prefer this. I mean, there are other characters out there, just play around and see what fits the best. But I found this one the best. So there's a two, there's a Poe character, the um, Force Link, and no joints move. Okay, so his helmet went on this Hoth version Luke, Legacy. Um, I cut his, he had some uh, straps around his, his waist, I cut them off because he, he didn't fit. And then the um, helmet fits on him pretty well. So you can repaint him if you want to, if you want to make him look more like Poe. Okay, so these are the printed parts. Um, as you can see, you've got your rear box. Then these are the pipes that go on the left-hand side. And then these are the pipes that go on the right with the targeting computer, which I presume it is. 
Okay, so you can glue all these onto this, onto this, and then remove this on its own. It doesn't have to be glued in. And then here's your, your joystick, and then these two sections go in the back to close it up. So as you can see over here, that's how the, okay, that's unglued. It's not glued in. So your one set of pipe goes in there, you can glue it onto this section, and then this one goes in here, and that there closes it back, and then this it just fits over the uh, two little squares, or sorry, a little square coming out the bottom. Okay, that's the main engines of the print bed. Big print, 30, I think 38 hours, 37 hours. That took a long time. The issue that I had with all these engines was print lines because of the size. So as you can see, there are lines. It took me a lot of work to sand this all down. Um, you will see on, I think, two of them, there is a bit of a, a line on the this section and across here, which I couldn't sand out. Okay, you're welcome to continue sanding. I did not want to touch these ribs because it would have affected it. So we see how it looks. Okay, that's in my hand. Okay, so... Like I said, I'll, I'll be starting the build tomorrow and making videos and, it, and I'll be posting updates on my um, Facebook page. So yeah, so um, enjoy the model if you get it. Um, just one more thing what I've done is the wings are FD imprinted, so it's not cast in, in, in resin. And so is the main guns. And the reason is for weight, because these wings are very heavy. <laughs> So there'll be a sanding required over here, elbow grease, to sand these down. Okay. Um, and lining them up with, because they did not make an easy model with offsetting these uh, wings off the, um, off the main engine. So I'll see what headaches I get when I actually come to the build. But I have basically two weeks to get this done. So I wish me luck. And yeah, um, obviously if you're seeing this, you probably already have the model order the model from me okay so till the next video cheers